Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a number to your seek bar in Android Studio when you're making an Android app. So I'm going to assume that you already have your project set up and I'm going to also assume that you already know how to use Android Studio for the most part. So I'm just going to create an empty views activity project so that I can just show you how to do this. So I'm going to say seek bar with number as my project name and I'm going to hit finish. I'm going to run my virtual device and it's going to show hello world. And uh, that's not what I want, so I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to add a slider. So I'm going to say widgets and seek bar discrete. I like the discrete one better than this one, just because uh, the user has the ability to actually choose like um, a specific number, meaning uh, it actually has steps involved. Oh, my app is done running. OK, so it says hello world. OK, so anyway, um, what you're going to see here is it has these dots which actually show you uh, where you're at, unlike with this kind of seek bar um, that shows you. It doesn't actually show you where you're at. You can just slide it wherever you want, which I don't like. Even so, if I run this app, uh, it actually is a step increment, but the user still has to count. They have to be like, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Or if it's like a three step increment, it'll have to be three, six, nine, twelve, or whatever kind of step increment you're doing they're going to have to count and they don't actually know what number they're at. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to put a number on here that actually tells them what the actual value is that they're choosing. I am just going to constrain this and now I'm going to add a text view to the project. And this is going to be the text view that is attached to this one. So you can constrain it however you want. Just note that the name of this is seek bar and the name of this is text view. Okay. So now if we go to the main activity Kotlin file, we're just going to create some values for each of these. So the first one's going to be seek bar, and we're going to set that to find view by ID. And seek bar, make sure you hit enter to import it. And then we're going to do r.id.seekbar, which is the name of the object right here that we've attached to our view. Okay, and we'll do the exact same thing with this one. Make sure you hit enter to import it, and then we'll do r.id.textView. Again, this is the uh, one with that's in our view. This is the import, and this is what we are setting it to. Okay, now we're going to create um, a change listener for our seek bar. On seek bar change listener, we'll listen for whenever we change the value in the seek bar. So I'm going to do seek bar dot set on seek bar change listener. And we're gonna set. Uh, we're gonna say object is seek bar dot on seek bar change listener, and we're gonna stay in the parentheses and add these brackets. And I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna override the function on progress changed, and hit enter to autocomplete that. And this is wanting us to override the other two, which are. Um, you don't actually have to put anything in them, but we're going to say override the function on start tracking. And then we're going to override the function on stop tracking touch. And I'm just going to, you know, put a comment here, not implemented. Because we didn't actually implement anything for this. Um, but of course you could actually put something in here to implement these functions. But here is what we're actually going to be changing. So basically all we have to do is set text view dot text. So this is the text within this text right here, because right now it's not doing anything. So we have to set this text to progress dot to string. So progress is the progress of seek bar, right? So if we weren't inside this function, we would type seek bar dot progress but uh, since we're actually in the function and everything um, obviously we don't have to we can't do that so it's progress and we have to change it to a string because you can't put integers into text views all right so now if we run this we can see it starts out as text view but when we do this it changes the number to whatever our slider is at that seems pretty good um, but the problem is if you notice when we run the app it starts out as text view like this, and it only changes when you change it. And so the user is going to be like, what is tech view? What does that mean? All we have to do is copy this 
and just put it at the beginning of our program so that it does that when the program is initialized. And like I said, we have to actually do seek bar dot progress and that will fix it. So when we run it now, when we open the app for the first time, it will say three because it's set to three. All right, that's pretty good. So that's how you add a number to your seek bar in your Android app. And I hope it was pretty simple. All you had to do is just override a few functions and add a text view and find those text views and seek bars. And that was pretty much it. So if you learned something from this video, feel free to comment, give a like, and I'll see you in the next video.